Hi you this is Darkon633 and we're back with another Star Wars review. This time we're going to take a look at the Star Wars The Black Series 6 inch Legacy Pack, which is a really interesting set since Hasbro decided to release a special set of Star Wars 6 inch Black Series figures based on the vintage card designs. Now obviously a lot of 3 and 3 quarter inch enthusiasts might not really enjoy this pack as much as a three and three quarter inch, but for those who are fans of the six inch line, I think it's really nice, especially on display, and I think it's nice to see this particular style be made for at least the original 12 Star Wars figures ever released in the line. On the front, it has a very similar style to the old early bird kit, as seen with the vintage artwork with a lot of these Star Wars figures, and it says Legacy Pack, instead of the early bird up there. Has the older style Star Wars logo. Uh, has the logo that says the Star Wars 40th anniversary. On the side, it's pretty much the same. And on the back, this is where kind of the whole design comes together since it has a lot of the old vintage styled kind of boxes for the characters, along with how it looks like with the contents and how you put the figures up on the display. It also includes a six inch Black Series vintage card style Darth Vader. Now this Darth Vader is actually quite different than what we've seen with the older release that's based on the Empire Strikes Back to Return of the Jedi, which we'll now look at once we open it. So anyways, we'll open it up and see the figure inside. Inside it does include a fully carded 6 inch Darth Vader as mentioned previously. It has the older style for the vintage card as well on the back which the same kind of style that we've seen with the outer box. Shows that it is the 40th anniversary legacy pack and shows the various figures that will also be released. Some of the figures have already been released in the line but the other couple will be released later down the road. It has this very nice vintage style artwork however it does seem like it's ballooned up just a little bit too much and it causes the actual artwork to be a little bit fuzzy so that's kind of a problem when actually enlarging the actual smaller style artwork into a larger box but that's just kind of a nitpicking problem there and has the old star wars logo there once again has the 40th anniversary logo there shows that it has the kenner logo since it is supposed to represent the older style boxes and that's pretty much it for the figure itself in the box as a comparison i actually do not have the figure in the card on the older one. Here is one that I have from the Empire Strikes Back in the three and three quarter inch. It has a very similar artwork style. Obviously this one is based on A New Hope versus this one was based on Empire Strikes Back. But this is actually one that I actually personally got. But I'm really happy to actually hold up at least some of the older vintage collection style figures. Anyways, we'll open this up and take a look at the Darth Vader inside. So, it does have an inner bubble, which you do need to remove the figure from. So we're just going to quickly pull out the Vader, along with his lightsaber, and take a closer look at this new Vader. So, here we go. Take this to the side, and take a look at this Vader. Now, upon further inspection, it has some really nice new tooling, and a bunch of new design parts all around. Unlike the original Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi 6-inch version, it does have the inner cloth here on the body, which on the original version was just a regular plastic. It has the very similar articulation, which we'll get to in a minute, but obviously since it is based on A New Hope, the head is not the same mold in general. This is actually a single piece that cannot be removed since it doesn't need to in this particular version. And overall, the sculpting is completely different all throughout the figure, and I think Hazard did a fantastic job updating this particular design for this new version. Articulation-wise, the head can swivel 360, can look up and down a bit due to the ball-jointed head, can look left and right ever so slightly, and has ball hinged shoulders with good range of movement. Actually, these will just be regular ball-jointed shoulders, should I say. It has ball hinged elbows with good elbow movement. It has ball joints at the wrists. It has a fully articulated hip with some ab crunch, not a whole lot, but just enough. It has good joints in the hips, swivels at the thighs, double jointed knees, 
does not have boot rotation where I could tell a lot of the Black Series series do not have boot rotation, but it does have fully jointed ankles, so you can actually put him in a wide variety of poses if you need to. His lightsaber also is actually a different molded design. You can remove the blade as normal, but what I like about this version is that the actual peg and the blade is a little bit better made, in my opinion, than some of the older ones. Since the older ones had a problem with the very small peg, it had a very high chance of possibly snapping. And the hilt itself is a really nice made design, once again, for the Star Wars 6-inch Black Series. You can actually hook the lightsaber, since it does have a belt hook there. However, unfortunately, from what I could tell, there isn't a good way to really secure it. So it doesn't like to stay that well on the hook, on mine at least. Unless you just kind of hold it in place with gravity with his elbow. And that is unfortunate. I did wish that this was a little bit better secured, but I guess it's nice that you can still actually put it off to the side there. Anyways, as a comparison, here is Darth Vader, along with this older design in the Star Wars 6-inch Black series. And while it did take a lot of design cues from the older release, it actually has a lot of differences. We're just going to quickly put the lightsaber in this Vader's hand. And I think he also holds the lightsaber just a little bit better. It could be just personal preference, but I think Hasbro made it a little bit better in design of holding the lightsaber. Looking them side by side. The old design, while it looked pretty okay, it did have a lot of problems in the overall sculpt. I think his hips were a little bit on the wonky side, and they could have done a little bit better in the overall design and sculpt of the character. Another thing is that this one has a better chance standing in general versus this one because of the hip problem, and it does seem a little bit bulkier now looking at them side by side. Obviously, since this one can have a removable helmet, it does look a lot bigger in the overall design, and it's not so accurate because of that. I think Hasbro really kicked this out of the ballpark with this new release. Just as another comparison, here he is next to 6-inch Palpatine, and I think they do scale in pretty nicely together. So it's just another fantastic release by Hasbro in the Star Wars 6-inch Black Series design. However, since this is still, once again, based on the early bird kit, we actually have one more thing to look at, and that is a complete diorama display that's included with this release. So now, we're gonna take the pieces out and build that and see how the figures look on it. And now we have all the figures side by side that I currently own. Now obviously some of the characters that are missing include the Tusken Raider, the Death Squad Commander, and the Jawas, since they're not actually out just yet. I actually do not have a 6-inch Stormtrooper since when I first started collecting, I wasn't really into the 6-inches at the time, so unfortunately I do not have that, but I will be getting the Vintage Card Stormtrooper when it comes out. And another thing is that the Chewbacca in display is the Force Awakens version, but I think it's okay since the overall design is about the same. Overall, I think this is still a really nice set to get a hold of if you're a vintage fan, and I think they did an okay job remaking the early bird kit into a 6-inch style. Obviously, it's not the exact same thing as present in the original version, but it still has a pretty good likeness for what they were trying to convey, and I think it will look great for those who are mainly either 6-inch collectors or just 6-inch collectors in general. I think this worked out pretty well, and although the set is a bit on the expensive side, I think they did a pretty good job in releasing this in general, especially since the Vader that's included in the set is really nice. I actually got this set from my local Target, since I actually did a pickup for this particular order, and I actually am quite happy with the overall result that I've gotten. Anyways, Please comment, subscribe, and check out Hero Club and Hero Taku. Also check your Twitter under Dark on 633, and don't forget to check down the other channels down below. Please check the little bell at the bottom of the screen in order to see my content gold as soon as possible. I'm back with more Star Wars reviews, but for now, I'll be seeing you later, YouTube. Bye. <music>